Hey guys, welcome to your um, energy check-in for June 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see um, what your overall energies are, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for uh, June, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Um, Keep in mind that these are collective messages with the collective uh, 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 Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. I think I already said that. Yeah. Whatever. So, Libra. Talk about Libra here. What is going on with Libra? Over energies for Libra. What is surrounding Libra for June 2024 for Libra? For Libra. So, we have the past releasing rebirth spring. And so, I listened as my soul told me to let go. Let the past go so that I may awaken to how much I have grown. Yeah. So this is about releasing the past here and growing from your experiences, learning from your experiences. So uh, Libra, this is about basically learning from the past and not living in it. Reach out to the potential that is calling you for potential and poss uh, possibilities here. So I do feel like in a way, personally, for yourself, you guys have taken some major quantum leaps here. You know, basically you guys have gone, gone through some sort of uh, spiritual, personal expansion and growth here, okay? So, or that you guys are about to embark on that or that it, it, it's happening, okay? So let's get one more here for you guys, Libra. This is looking good for you guys. Learning to let go of the past, learning from the past, reaching some sort of quantum leap here, okay? Let's see. One more. Yeah, you guys are definitely stepping into your higher self. You know, the alchemist, empowerment, pain, sorceress. So I feel like you guys have basically used your experience to empower yourself to empower others here, to create the real reality and the life that you want. Perhaps you guys are teaching other uh, others through your experiences here. We have, oh, I don't break that easy. Not anymore. Instead, I use things to, as fuel. So I feel like you're using your experiences, your pain, your trauma, and your hurt to feel your fire here, to help others here, okay? Uh, to help others grow and learn uh, through similar experiences that you have been through here. Some of you guys could be writing books. Some of you guys could be talking about this on a pod podcast here. Some of you guys could have a YouTube channel or be on TikTok here. And I feel like if you guys are doing this, you guys are very successful. If you guys are doing this in the future, you guys are very successful here, okay? So what else do we have here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know? Look out for work on for June 2024 for Libra, for Libra, for Libra. We have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Nine of Cups. Seems like you guys are definitely finding happiness and fulfillment at this time here. You guys are getting into this like more grounded energy. Also, this more focused energy here too. You're just focused on your own personal goals at this time here. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Nine of Cups here. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are focusing on your own cups, okay? You guys are kind of like in this selfish energy right now. I would say in a healthy, selfish energy, I feel like it's not a selfish energy. You know how there's healthy, selfish energy and then there's like unhealthy, selfish energy. So the unhealthy one is basically you're, you're selfish to the point where you're running around hurting other people here. 
and you're not doing that here. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Things are really turning in your favor at this time here. You know, I feel like a luck is on your side with the Seven of Swords here in the reverse. Some of you guys could also be overcoming self-sabotaging energy or that you guys are in some sort of self-preservation mode or something like that, okay? Or that you guys are getting away from something that is hindering from your own personal growth and your spiritual growth, okay? We have the Seven of Swords here in the reverse, okay? And then we have the Emperor Aries energy. Wow. Someone in or around your life could be facing karma here. Someone that you dealt with romantically, or it could be a parent that could have abandoned you as a child here, and they could be facing karma now because, you know, this individual could be reaching out to you and you're ignoring this person here because you're realizing that this person has been out of your life for so long that, you know, for you, there's no bridge to gap here as a, at this time because you're, you're so far along, you're so far ahead that you don't want that to set you back, okay? Uh, we have the emperor. Why is the emperor here? In the eight, yeah, it seems like re you're, you're receiving some sort of communication from somebody here. Someone here that you haven't been in contact with for a very long time. You know, here's the thing. I do feel like it's a father figure where I feel like you've seen this person peripherally as a child and then this person completely disappeared and now this person's coming back around. Because you have spiritually ascended so much here, okay, this is someone that you don't want anything to do with. Perhaps this is a person that you're releasing here. Now, like I said, this could be a romantic partner here too, or maybe a friend. It doesn't have to be a parent. Just apply this to your own unique situations. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse here and the Two of Swords. I, I do feel like you guys are protecting yourself here. Now, if you're moving on from this person that's coming back around, they're complete denial that you're cutting them out for good. You know, I feel like, you know, you had made a very conscious effort and I feel like you had good intentions about bridging some sort of gap here. It just didn't work. And I feel like you don't have the power to try anymore, right? So the Wheel of Fortune here, the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands. Wow, this is a major, major, major release here. Yeah, this is some sort of major quantum leap because I feel like for you, maybe for a long time, you had a hard time letting things go and just releasing here and you're doing it. If you're not doing it, you're being asked to tap into this here, okay? Because that change, that leap could change everything. And I feel like it could make room for your blessings and your happiness to come into your life here. The uh, Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles here, and the Five of Wands. That's not the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords here. Yeah, Libra, you're putting yourself first at this time here. You're stepping into a selfish energy where you're doing the right thing for yourself and you're not letting other people dictate on how you should live your, live your life. Some of you guys were held prisoner or that you guys were kind of like in this prison-like energy, you know, where I feel like, uh, you know, this prison that you were in was your past here, you know? So the Nine of Cups here and the Star card, Aquarius energy. Wow, looking really good here. And the Queen of Pentacles here and the Page of Swords, yeah. Some of you guys have found your life's purpose through your struggles here, okay? So, Libra, this looks good. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.